Hey everyone, Thruster here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Emerald Sea. When we last left off, I was at the Battle, Front, or the, uh, battle Factory here in the Royal Frontier. But, well, now I'm at the Battle Pike here. And the reason for that is because I've decided that it's just taking too much time for me to try and get through the Battle, or battle Frontier, or through the Battle Factory, to the Battle Brain, and I want to keep recording episodes. So... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to show the first run, first successful run of each of the battle uh, events. So that way you guys can see what they're like, and I can explain some of the rules and tips and tricks that I've found for doing them. Now, let's get started with the battle pike. So first off, let's ask for info. Here we conduct an event we call battle choice. The battle choice rules are very simple. Choose one of three paths and make your way to the goal room at the end of the battle pike. It's that simple. However, what happens on the chosen path depends entirely on the luck of the challenger. To reach the goal, you'll be rewarded with battle points. If you want to interrupt your challenge, please have a word with our staff in the big rooms on the way. If you don't save before interrupting, you will be disqualified. Would you like to take the battle choice challenge? Yes. We're going to go with level 50. And I would like to mention, I have taken off the Macho Brace from Theris in order to make sure that he can go at full speed no matter what and be able to take him out. And I will also mention, this is now my fifth run through this, so I'm a little bit frustrated. And the thing is, my first run was beautiful. It was perfect. It was an amazing first run. But I wasn't recording the desktop audio, and I'll probably show that at some point. I will probably, like, make a lost episode kind of thing, and, like, show you guys that specific episode. Because I I'm not too happy about the fact that I lost the audio for that, for the desktop audio, and I don't like doing that, so I'm trying to do this this way, so that way it's perfect. What'd they say? Oh, and you will want to talk to this person before you go into any of the paths, by the way. It's, she can be very helpful. So in the path on the right, it's a trainer, so this could either be a single battle, or it could be a heal, full heal. So I'm not gonna go for it, I'm gonna go left. I'll explain all the things that she can say, but my challenge is about to end before it begins. Every battle has a smell, so this is a very tough trainer. Luckily, even though this is a very tough trainer to beat, or, well, the whenever you come to a room like this, you will be fighting a very tough trainer. But no matter what, if you manage to beat them, you will get a full heal. Which is good, but there's a good chance I'm about to lose them. Because the last four runs that I have done, Plus, yeah, yeah, like three or four runs that I've done, I have been stopped by one of these trains. And the last one, there's one where I was like right at the very end of it. I was about to go into the final room. Actually, I was in the final room. And I faced off against one of these trainers. And they completely wrecked my crap. Yeah, they're no joke, they're no joke. And not pushovers. And what's funny is considering the fact that I actually challenged one of these guys in my first run, and I beat them easily, and now I'm not beating them easily at all. Now they're kicking my butt. I'm not exactly happy. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna go with Slash. That does not do anything at all. I should just get my Dragon Slash. Or uh, Dragon Claw. Dragon Slash. This Dragon Claw would have gotten him in a much better position to be taken out by Therese or Venusaur. Speaking of which, I'm gonna go Venusaur. Lose. 
There we go. I'm still going to lose. But, you know. Leech seed. How did it evade the attack? He's asleep! Oh, because Venusaur is faster, it goes uh, works to my disadvantage in this battle because Venusaur is faster. Give me all your health, Matt Cargo. You know what? Oh, I just wanted to try and like do some HP farming on him. Uh, I'm not gonna bother anymore. Not gonna bother anymore. There's no point bothering trying to get more HP. Oh uh, hey, crit, and it's a super. Are you kidding me? I could have potentially taken him out in one hit. Exactly, happy to know that. Rich is gonna play a leech seed on him. That way, they're constantly losing health. They can't do anything about it either. It's not a status effect. right now. <laughs> He did that. That was a waste of a turn that you could have used to take out Venus. Good job. Good job. Oh, we actually won. Norm John Under your victory, your Pokemon should be short, full health, thank God. Alright. About trying to help choose your path, unless there's something about the path in the for some reason, build away from the solid chicken requirements. So this could either be a status element or a heal for one of our Pokemon. I'm not risking it because none of our Pokemon need healed. I chose once. There's an idle trainer. Very important, but you pass finding the future path, unless there's the path in the center. Trainer. Single battle or full heal. I'm gonna just go for a single battle, it's a safe bet. Yep. I'll take it, because these guys aren't all that tough, thankfully. Because usually they're not. So I should be able to take them out relatively easily. And not have to worry about losing. Because I don't want to lose. <laughs> I don't want to lose at all. Go, Dragon Claw took him out in one hit. Beautiful. And Onyx. Alright. Dragon Claw. One hit. There we go. <laughs> and Clefairy. Now, if this was from one of the newer games, what I'm about to do wouldn't work at all. But since it's not... I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. 
Oh, you're gonna send Charizard back, aren't you? That's what Return does. I thought that's what Return did. Oh, apparently not. Never mind. Dragon Claw again. That was stupid. Because you're the only Pokemon on the field that Charizard can charge. You wasted a turn that you could have spent taking on Charizard. Well done. Try it. Well done. Ay, ay, ay. What's going to do? Yeah, looks like there's something with a path on the right. So that's either going to be a idle trainer or a double battle. Either one's good. Because double battles aren't too difficult. Yada, yada, yada. Path on the left. We're going to go for that. Single battle or double Or uh, idle trainer or double battle. And you can chat with them, I'm just choosing not to because I want to get through this. Path in the center. Uh, let's go for it. I can use a heal, potentially. Can I get a heal? Two of your Pokemon to full health. Luckily, I only need one of them, so chances are he did get Charizard. And let's actually check that and make sure. Yes, he did. All right, let's see, just in the bath on the right, trainer since presence of people, so single battle or heal. Well, let's go for the single battle. <laughs> All right, Charizard, we got this. Flamethrower. Boom. Knocked on out. Alright, flamethrower. Oh wow, that would have taken him out, but Lenny and hung on using his focus band. Wow. Nicely done, nicely done. I'll give him that. He's just slash. Ow. Ow. All right, the stocks. Flamethrower. Go. Please, I need some water. Yeah, well, go get water now that you've lost. You earned it. And that's the end of it. We finished it in 14 minutes. Oh, got a battle point, thank God. All right, now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and read off the information that I have for this. There are eight events that can occur in a run. So you get a single battle, a trainer with three Pokemon walks up to the player in battles. A double battle, two trainers each with one Pokemon walk up to the player in battle. Single battle and healing, single uh, battle trainer is more difficult than usual, and the winner's Pokemon are completely healed. Wild Pokemon room, which is basically just like a zigzagging uh, path across a room all the way up to the top. And then you encounter wild Pokemon all the way. You can encounter a wild Spiper, Milotic, Dusclops, Electrode, Rayloom, and Wobbuffet. And you can just escape each time and not battle. Which is why whenever... Uh, well, it's when they hear that. You can also get no event. And if he's standing in the room but does nothing, status effects, rise attack will inflict a status on one or more po player's Pokemon. Status includes Cur uh, Curlia's Burn, Paralysis, Poison, or Sleep. That's Curlia. Uh, 
we didn't encounter in this run, but we have. I did in other runs. It sucked. But she can. When you see the Curlia appear, she can. Or it can inflict burn paralysis, poison, or sleep, as I said. And Dusclop appears, it can do burn or freeze. Now, the status effect probability is also listed here. Now, poison's at 35%, it's the highest out of all of them, and it's one of the more damaging and one of the more destructive ones, potentially, if you get it early on in a run and don't get any healing. You can also get the freeze effect, which is a 25% chance, paralysis at 20%, sleep at 10%, and burn at 10%. Now, obviously, the burn and poison ones are the more dangerous of them all, due to the fact that having them happen can really be detrimental, especially if you don't get a healing uh, room in a decent amount of time. Now, the, another room that you can get is one or two recovery. One or two of the player's Pokemon will be healed. That's in the... I sense... Uh, I felt a wave of nostalgia coming from it. One. And then the full recovery, all three of the player's Pokemon will be healed. The player may not change the order of his or her party during a line... or during a challenge. In the area where the player must pick among three rooms, a lady standing outside will name one room and hint at what is in the room. Now, what she says... Each quote that she has, each trace that she says, has two possibilities, but the first is more common than the second. Now, for some odd reason, I felt a wave of nostalgia coming from it. Now, that could be a status ailment, which I already mentioned what those could be, or it could be the heals one or two Pokemon. Now, is it a trainer, a sense of presence of people? It could be either a single battle or a heal all Pokemon. Now, it seems to have the distinct aroma of Pokemon wafting around it. That could either be the wild Pokemon or the single battle, then heal party. That's the one. Oh, excuse me. That's the one with the really tough trainer that knocked me out so many times. Now, I seem to have heard something. It may have been whispering. That's an idle NPC or the double battle. And then the final one, from every path, I sense a dreadful presence. Now, that indicates that you're about to fight the Battle Pike Queen, Lucy. And I do believe... Yep, that's everything there is to know. Oh, except that you will encounter Lucy after finishing the Battle Pike two times in a row, winning both times, and then ten times in a row. So that's fun. <laughs> and that's pretty much the Battle Pike in a nutshell. It is a very cool place. It is one of my favorites growing up. I absolutely loved it. And yeah. Now we're gonna save. Now that I've finished it, thank God. And I'm gonna end off this episode at last. So thank you guys so much for coming out to today's episode of Pokemon Emerald Z. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and also consider the subscribe button if you haven't already to get notifications for our next uploaded video. So if you disliked it, you can go ahead and hit that dislike button too. It won't hurt my feelings too much. But if you did like it and you did hit that subscribe button, be sure to check out links down below in the description for my Twitch, Patreon, Streamlabs, Twitter, my other YouTube channel, and all the other links to the all the other stuff down in the description below. And don't forget to also comment down below if you have today's episode, and don't forget to share this video on social media. I, it was a bit of a pain to make, admittedly, but I did enjoy it uh, when I won. <laughs> and now, with all that being said, thank you guys once again for coming to this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.